So we see uh, in case of man overboard, we both have to look at barriers and preventative measures. We have to reduce the risk and we have to limit the damage. Reducing the risk in case of man overboard can be uh, using handrails, security wire on deck. You can define no-go and safe zones on deck. You can keep deck areas closed off when it's not absolutely necessary to work there. And you can also use uh, training of all crew um, training and how to move on deck uh, without uh, exposing yourself to unnecessary risk. When it comes to limiting damage, you can have a requirement for, uh, for the use of survival suits on deck in, uh, when you're at sea. This would, of course, uh, reduce the consequences if you do fall overboard. You can introduce requirements for wearing a helmet on deck during work, so you don't hit your head if you fall. Uh, you can do uh, man overboard exercises uh, to make sure that if someone did does fall overboard, you can pick them up efficiently. Uh, you can have um, individual man overboard buttons, so you can raise the alarm if you do fall overboard. Powerful searchlights, uh, mobile arm on the navigation equipment with positioning. So we see that to reduce the total risk, we both have to reduce the probability and reduce the consequences uh, of uh, unwanted incidents happen. Safety management is continuous work. We have to plan how to reduce the risk. We have to execute the intended measures. We have to follow up and review if they uh, have the wanted effect. And then we have to improve it. And these things, this is a continuous um, exercise. Planning means um, getting an overview of which requirements apply, mapping out what preventative measures do we already have, performing risk assessments or reviewing existing risk assessment, identifying requirements for training, identifying the need of documentation, the execution phase, training, information, um, execute drawing up uh, updated procedures, follow-up is working with non-conformities, uh, safety rounds, management reviews, internal and external audits, to check if uh, the, your, your measures have the desired effect. And improving can be things such as an annual review, follow up on any reporting non-conformities and improving risk assessments and procedures. And then you're back in the planning phase. And this is a continuous part of running a, a ship or a shipping company uh, with a high focus on safety.